Black holes are the most massive objects in the universe. They are the true star destroyers, devouring countless numbers of them over their endless lifetime. Black holes are the regions of space where the gravity has become so dense that not even light, traveling 186,000 miles per second, can escape. Einstein, the man who turned the world of science upside down with his theory of general relativity, did not believe black holes existed, even though his theory allowed for them. Since then, astronomers have tried to prove black holes' existence. Imagine for a moment that this two-dimensional plane is space-time. Gravity bends and warps space-time depending on the intensity of it. Celestial bodies such as the Sun, Earth, and Moon all affect space-time differently. Black holes do the same thing, except on a massive scale. On Earth, it is easy to resist gravity. In fact, we do it all the time. Simply jumping is an example of resisting the effects of gravity, at least for a moment. Birds can fly, airplanes can take off, trees can grow. To escape the atmosphere of the Earth, a rocket has to travel only 7 miles per second, or 25,000 miles per hour. Light is traveling at 670 million miles per hour, and it cannot escape the pull of a black hole. You may be wondering, how does something this powerful and destructive come into existence? Well, physicists and astronomers are not really sure. For the longest time, they believed that black holes were born from dying stars. When the star could no longer support itself, it went supernova and collapsed on itself. New research and extensive testing in supercomputers might suggest something different, though. That stars do not go supernova and collapse, but just collapse on themselves. This is called an unnova. The truth is, no one really knows how they come into existence. The fact that light cannot escape them makes it impossible to see them. What we can see is what they are consuming, though. Right before gas falls into the black hole, when it reaches the event horizon, it becomes extremely hot and emits it, a large amount of light. This is the only way we can see black holes, until now. Without being able to see black holes and only really having Einstein's theory of general relativity to work with, it has been difficult to prove that black holes exist. That may come to an end, though, when scientists turn their telescopes to the center of our Milky Way galaxy. What they found was astonishing. Over the course of 15 years, astronomers took pictures of the center of the galaxy, tracking stars and watching movement. What they saw were some of the most energetic celestial bodies ever seen. The stars simply labeled an S with a number are at the center of our galaxy. Researchers found when the star labeled S2 reached a certain point in its orbit, it was traveling at 11 million miles per hour. However, nothing can be seen at the point where the star seems to be orbiting. The astronomers concluded that due to the distance these stars were apart and the speed at which they were moving, that there could only be one thing that they were orbiting, a supermassive black hole. The video is considered to be the first hard evidence of the existence of black holes. Supermassive black holes are the biggest of the big. They make the weakest force in the universe and transform it into the most destructive thing in it. Supermassive black holes, like the one at the center of our Milky Way, are a million to a billion times more massive than our sun. Oh, and it's only 20 miles wide. I'll give you a moment to comprehend that. To put it into perspective a little better, the Sun is 343,000 times more massive than our Earth. It is now widely accepted around the scientific community that there is a supermassive black hole at the center of almost every galaxy. There could be as many as 100 to 500 billion galaxies in our universe, and each galaxy has over 100 billion stars. Even if only 1 in 100 million stars became a black hole, there would still be an uncountable number of them. Through the universe's 14 billion year life, there have been an incomprehensible number of stars that have lived their lives, burned out, and died. Countless numbers of these stars have become black holes, feasting on the matter around them. But black holes do more than simply devour anything that strays too close. Black holes are at the center of every galaxy, holding it together. 
they hold all the stars in the universe from flying apart, shaping beautiful structures on a scale that is unimaginable.